guys, just check out this view from on top of the boat. I just want to remind you of the Squall Days. The what? The Squall Days. We are going to be uploading a new video every Monday to Friday for the next nine weeks. And every Friday, we're going to be giving away one Nintendo Switch. All you got to do if you want to win one of these is make sure you smash the subscribe button, the bell button, and comment hashtag squad on every video Monday to Friday. We have traveled far away from our home to do an official Papa Jake Lake Week where we survive in a box fort boat for an entire week. Welcome to the area. Phil, what are you doing? Baby. Phil, there's no sun out. It's it's a cloudy day and Logan's on a kayak. Guys, this is not how we're supposed to be starting. We need the cardboard. We need the cool stuff. We need the electronics. We need the food. Jake, this is not a kayak. What is it? It's a canoe. Okay guys, so let me get down to the basics here. Once we set sail off this dock in our box fort boat, we are not allowed to return to this very area until we have survived for an entire week. That means we need to bring food. We need to bring water. We need to bring sleeping supplies. We also need to bring bug spray because there's a lot of bugs out here. I, I mean, there are bugs everywhere. They're going in places bugs should not go. More importantly, we need to make sure that this thing can house and comfortably shelter all three of us for the next week. Now we have a ton of really cool supplies to do this and we have bought one of the biggest inflatables we have ever had, plus a motor to power it. So we're probably the most set up we've ever been for Box Fort Lake Week. Jake, we've done a floating box fort on a lake with two of us and we've survived the night, but never three. I don't know if this thing's gonna be big enough for the three of us. That is true, Logan. And unlike most of our 24 hour challenges, there's a lot of uh, dangers out here. I mean, there are beavers, literal beavers in this water. I don't know if they're killer beavers. Also been raining all day, Jake, it just stopped. It did just stop. I mean, we've got the weather, we've got the bugs, we've got beavers, which are like the raccoons of the water. Everyone knows that. We also have the uh, the the lake itself. I mean, the, the current's pretty nice right now, but this thing can get very bumpy and rocky. And we have Phil, who's a very large hazard. Phil, what are you doing with the fishing rod? That, that's for food, Phil. Fisher food? Yes, but Phil, that needs to be wielded by a professional fisher, like myself, who knows how to catch fish. Phil actually might be onto something. See, we brought a lot of food. But one of the things I knew was that we might not have enough food. I don't personally eat fish because I hate fish. I hate anything that comes out of the sea. But Logan and Phil like fish, so we're gonna try and catch some to eat while we're on our boat. I know we haven't made it yet, but there's a bunch here. So I've grabbed a net. Phil's luring them in. It's a little bit of a weird kind of style of fishing, but it might work. Okay, well, it looks like Jake and Phil are busy fishing now and we are not ready at all for the box fort on a lake challenge. It is officially raining. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see the lake, but it's raining and I'm a little bit concerned we might get some storms tonight. Phil, Phil, I got one. Oh, oh, I got one. I'm bringing it in, Phil. I'm bringing, oh. Uh, Jake. We could eat this. It's seaweed. Oh, you can eat that. That's, that's what they put on sushi. Here, Phil, try some, it's fresh. Jake, that does not look healthy. It looks very healthy. It's right out of the sea. It's seaweed. Whoa, we got one. Wait, what? J Jake, you got one? You caught a fish? Pull it in, bro. Jake, whoa, she's a big. You actually caught one? Hold on, Logan. Hold on to me. She's too big. She's Wait, too big. Jake, Jake, that's like a minnow, bro. Jake, we got one. Oh. Hello, Mr. Fishy. I mean, you caught one. I got one. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna really feed us. I mean, I don't eat fish, but that's that's a bit small, Phil. It could be like a like a like a chicken nugget kind of. I think we should name him. We should put him. Well, we should put him back, name maybe. Him. His name is Ted. Okay, his name's Ted. Should we bring him on our adventure with us? Jake, I think we need to put him back, and we need to build our boat. The sun is coming out. That's good. We need to build our boat. Okay. Well, at least now we know that we can fish when we're out there if we do need to get food. And now the sun is out, so yes, we can start building. We need our cardboard and all of our supplies. Logan, you're on cardboard duty. I'm gonna go inside and get all of our technical supplies ready. Phil. Put Ted back home. We have prepared a new floaty system. Right here, we have ourselves. Okay guys, so the mic cut out here, unfortunately, but basically I'm showing you all of the crazy items that we are gonna be having in this box fort on a lake. I mean, we spared no expense. We spent over $3,000 on all of these items so we can have the best box fort we have ever created, probably on land, but also definitely on water. We got a ton of survival gear, like food and stuff to go fishing. 
but we also got a lot of stuff for fun and games. I even got a motor, which we could use to power the box for it and actually drive around. We have an anchor, we've got safety items. We even have a working sink so we can wash our hands before dinner. I mean, this is going to be both a box for a boat, but it's also gonna be kind of like a house boat. I mean, this is crazy. Just look at all this stuff. Okay guys, so we have started building and also trying out some of the equipment like our monocular. Dude, I can see so far. Right? Dude, we're gonna need it if we're out there. We're gonna be able to find islands that we need to go to. Also, I'm really excited for the underwater treasure hunting. Logan thinks we're gonna find the Loch Ness Monster. I'll be happy if we see a big fish, but I think there's a chance we could find some cool stuff down there. As you can see though, we have started to create the massive masterpiece that will be this houseboat. We've been on a lake before, and the last time we were on a lake, we used two inflatable rafts that are for a pool. This time, we're using actual, well, they're still inflatable rafts, but they're docks, so they're very hard, and you can walk on them. Right, Phil? Jake, I'm getting kind of overwhelmed. It is going to be really big, but there is going to be so much space, guys. We're gonna connect this, all the way over to these two and basically have a bridge so you can walk all the way from one side to the other. I mean, it is going to be like 20 feet of boat. I almost want to call this the Titanic, although we know how that one ended up. Roll the clip. <laughs> Yes, Captain. That's what I thought. Over what? there by the rocks, there is an obscure looking structure. My gosh, could it be Bigfoot? I don't know if Bigfoot is real, but what I do know is there is an area we could go explore. Okay, well, I also have a treasure map so we can explore that. It's more over that way. Okay guys, well Logan and Phil have been hard at work on the fort itself, which uh, we still have not connected yet. We are going to do that once it gets down to the dock, just because it's gonna be way too crazy to take this entire thing down there. I've been working on something else, and I know it might not sound crazy or anything like that, but here's the fact. We need water when we're on this boat, and we also need a way to stay clean. I mean, we're gonna be living on there for an entire week. So we, or I should say me, or I, have built this portable sink. So check this out, guys. We're gonna put this on the boat. You fill it up with a bunch of liters of water, and then all you have to do is stomp on this little thing down here and look at that we've got fresh water that we can use we can use it for uh, brushing our teeth maybe washing our face or you know just washing our hands because honestly if we're gonna be catching fish and we're gonna be out in the middle of the lake for a whole week i mean we're gonna have to wash our hands before we eat so now we have this it's a literally a sink you'd have in your house but inside our box for it on a lake I think it's pretty sweet. Another very important thing are these safety stickers. Guys, if we're gonna be out here sleeping in the middle of the night, there are other people on this lake with fast boats. And if we're in the middle of the lake with a cardboard boat, there's a good chance that, well, they could not see us. So we need something to light our boat up. Obviously we have the flag on it, but I've got these reflective stickers. Now we're gonna have some LEDs on the outside to warn people that we have this massive houseboat, but I'm also gonna add these because safety first. All right, guys, so check it out. The box fort is complete. Well, sort of. We haven't put it all together because we had to make it in segments. The biggest floating box fort we've ever built. And we're putting it on a lake for a week. This is going to absolutely be insane. But as you can see, we've separated into three segments that we will connect on the dock. But we're going to show you guys what we have so far and how cool some of the awesome stuff inside is. So we're going to start with me and Logan's sleeping quarters. Check this place out. So this is actually going to be kind of like the main chill area because it is the biggest part of the boat now in here we have lighting on the roof we also have our generator and we even have a little station over here in case we need to trim our hair or you know look in the mirror and stuff like that I also hey, hey Jake, don't oh. forget the bug nets Yes, very important bug nets we learned that on our first trip you need bug nets especially out in the middle of the water now back here is where we're gonna have the motor so this is where we're gonna attach the motor we're gonna tape this down and basically make it super sturdy and then I can sit on this like this and I might cut a little window here so I can see but basically I'm gonna control the boat from here the thing is this boat is so long and so far down that way I'm not gonna have any idea where I'm going so we actually have like a system we're trying to set up right now where Phil is gonna have a air horn that he blows to let me know if I need to go right or left or stop 
We also have in our room, our very top secret, an awesome underwater camera that goes, I think it goes like 30 feet underwater and we can see the screen here. So we're gonna be searching for treasure, fish, or really anything, including monsters, that we might find underwater. Uh, I don't really know why we have a roof here that's open. I don't know if it's a sunroof, but we definitely need to bug net that still. But I'll lead you guys into the next room. Once you go from our living quarters, you'll come into our essential survival room. Like I said, we got a bunch of stuff. We got our medical supplies, our life jacket, more mosquito nets for adventures, life jacket, scuba gear, scuba gear. We have our anchor, which is super important because the first time we ever did a floating box fort on the lake, the box fort just got carried away by the wind and we weren't able to stay in one spot. So the anchor is key. We also have a bunch of games for when we get bored. We also have a ton of bug spray, mosquito, fly swatter, electric thing, glow sticks. That pretty much sums up our survival room. Now coming along over to Phil's room, we got Phil. Take it away. Guys, Jake said he's gonna let me drive the boat. No. Look at this, I got my own wheel. It's gonna be my lookout post. And then I'm gonna be in charge of making all the meals for us. We've got all our MREs in here. Wait, those meals actually look good. They look really good. They are. We have whole wheat pasta, lasagna. Hey Phil, yeah. you, got, you got a stove, right? No, you make them in the bag. What? No, we need we need to boil water. We need the stove, Phil. Phil, Phil, it was on your packing list okay, to bring okay, the we'll stove. We'll take a kettle. We'll bring a kettle and we'll just boil water. This Wait, okay, we do have a stove. Also, I can Phil, put it in here. I need to put the sink in here, so you need to have enough room for the sink. The sink's gonna go right here. Okay, and remember, Phil, the blow horn. Two. Oh, oh, right. Two blows is right. One blow is left. Three blows is stop. We're gonna work on this, Phil. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of steering. Oh. oh yeah, and guys, if I catch a fish, we have a full kit to put them away. How's it going, Phil? It's coming along. Okay, but what we are gonna do is before we even attach all of the boats, we are going to be running a safety simulation that I designed because I'm Mr. Safety. It's not simulation, Logan, if it's real. We're gonna be putting this in the water with our motor system. See if it works well, and if it does, then we're gonna attach the next two. Yeah, we'll have to attach the next two in the water, and then we have a ton of fun stuff planned, guys. And we are gonna go out, you know, not super far, because it's kind of scary and it's a really big lake, but there are some places we wanna search. Like, for example, I really wanna go over to the island, which you guys can't see, but I think there might be Bigfoot, or at least something scary. Jake, do you even have your boating license? You don't need a boating license to drive a box for it. That's a fact. All right, I think it is time to put our boat in the water. Oh, that's a big boat, no! No, 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 no! Go, go, go! Okay. It's tipping! It's floating. It is? is it? I don't know. Okay, push, move it! Push, 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 push! push. Ah. Oh, she did it! It's floating! It's floating! So I'm now more scared than I already was. Okay, it is a little bit not that tall, so if there's big waves, uh, that might be an issue. I'm just gonna jump in. Oh, did someone hold me? Gone. Guys, hey. what do you mean? I thought you were holding it. What do you mean I'm gone? Guys, someone save me. Phil, jump in the water and swim. Oh, we're hitting rocks. Okay, well, she floats. Guys, someone come help. I'm stuck. Guys, this is real. This is very real now. There's a lot of waves. I'm in a box for guys. <laughs> so as skeptical as I am about this, I do think it's gonna work. So now we just gotta drop her a little lower. Not too down, not too up. Okay. And uh, just a reminder for all the folks sitting at home watching this, do not try this at home. We do have a safety team in place in, in case anything goes wrong. We are ready to embark on our first test simulation. If Jake can attach the motor to the boat. I'm trying. It's really hot out. I know. And the box for it is even hotter, but we did bring a fan. She's ready to go. No. Come on, guys. Oh my god. Are we moving? I think we're moving. Oh, we are moving. Oh, oh we're going. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Guys. <laughs> oh, we're a moving <laughs> box for it. This is <laughs> crazy. What's up, dude? <laughs> guys, when we made our first box for another lake, people laughed at us. They made fun of us when they were boating by. Now look at us. We a real boat up in here. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Look at me. I'm on. Look at me. Oh my gosh. Look at me, I'm on. This is crazy, dude. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. This is like sick. I didn't know how fast we'd be able to go. 
All right, well, I think the simulation has passed. This thing actually works. Wow, this is crazy. And we have made it to the dock. Wow. Okay, I don't know what it's gonna be like when we attach all of the boats. It won't be as fast, but I definitely think it's going to work. This is gonna be so cool. We have officially launched the box for a boat. We've done it, guys. We are out and we have all three sections connected. Logan, why don't you walk through and show them the entire boat and just see how big this thing is and the fact we're floating on water. Wow, look at that view. It is beautiful. Right now we're going backwards, but it's okay. We're gonna turn it around. All right, as you can see, we have almost like a little train car system. This is the safety boat. All right, we have crawled through into the safety boat. Almost. Okay, I'm okay. If anyone sees us, they're probably gonna think this is the weirdest thing they've ever seen. All right, and heading into the front of the ship, Phil's car. Logan, I brought a coffee. I didn't know how long we were gonna be out here. Phil, the biggest thing on the ship, gotta make sure you don't get seasick. I didn't even think of that. Wow, in the kitchen, we are floating. I can't hear. Okay, that's just looking I can't hear anything. But these windows are pretty cool. The windows are awesome and they're bug nets, which is low key gonna be really good for nighttime. So now that we're on the ship, I'm starting to feel a little claustrophobic and a little seasick, just like the Titanic. I actually feel very seasick again. This is not good. Logan, we can't lose you this early. I need to go swimming. I think I need to jump off the boat. I'm not feeling well, Phil. I didn't know I had this problem, but I guess I got seasick. It's way too early in the challenge for talk like that, Logan. Logan, where are you going? I'm leaving. Don't leave me up here by myself. I need to go sleep. Here we go, guys. The box for ship is off. Guys, just check out this view from on top of the boat. Guys, this is amazing. Let's head back down. Phil. Yeah, G. I brought us to position. We're gonna set anchor here and chill for a bit. Great. Anchor. All right, Logan, get the anchor ready. Anchor is ready. All right, this is the little anchor hole. We are about to chill out for a bit. All right, letting the anchor out in three, two, one. Anchor has been set. We have reached the bottom. Okay guys, I'm back in our living quarters and I think Logan's actually gonna go swimming. I am so impressed with how well this has done with the motor we have. And I mean, guys, look at the scenery that we get to see with this box for boat. I mean, obviously I love building box forts at home, but when do we ever get to be out on a lake like this? And the motor held up, we were actually ripping. So that means that we pretty much can go anywhere we want. I mean, this entire lake is our playground. We can go anywhere. I also wanna search for treasure and I don't know if I mentioned, I mentioned it in the last video, but I may or may not have found a treasure map. So we have an underwater camera and I'm definitely gonna be using that to search for treasure. Logan thinks that we might be able to find Bigfoot over there. I don't know if that's true, but we'll probably visit that as well. But guys, as of right now, this weather is great. The sun is out and the fort is doing great. We definitely have a little bit of fixing up to do. We don't have all the lights on, but we also don't wanna waste all of our battery. This entire thing is battery powered, which means our motor, our lights, our fan, all relies on that generator. And our motor is, uh, well, she's, she's not doing great on power. She's at 50%, so we might have a problem. Jake, I'm about to go swimming. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, boys. Jake. Oh, Jake. Jake. Logan. No, Jake. Logan. Jake. No. no. Got my head. Our phones are flipping. <laughs> We've disconnected. Oh no. What we happened? Fine. I don't know. Okay, you have to swim me around back so okay, we can reconnect. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? I don't know. It's like really strong. Dude, Dude pulling me this way. Uh, Phil. What is going on? I don't know. The boats are disconnected. Um, what? Jake, something just popped up. What popped up? Might be a beaver. No. Well, okay. I was about to go swimming. Okay, you gotta swing me around back, because if you guys lose me, I'm gonna have to go home and probably play like Xbox, and you don't have a way out. Okay, guys, we have reattached the boats, and we are good to go. That was a bit scary. I'm gonna go swimming to whoa, help whoa, whoa. my seasick. Logan, before you go swimming, safety first, brother. Um, you gotta wear your life jacket. Good thing we have like a level 100 swimmer. That's okay. We have state-of-the-art life jackets. I need you to be wearing that. The safety team requires it. 
So you just put it on like that. And then if you need it, Logan, you pull the cord. What cord? It's like a like a parachute right there on your right hand. The red cord. Yeah, you just pull that if you need it. Pull this. Yeah, you pull it. All you need to know is about the red thing. You pull that down. No, 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 It's like so tight, I can't. Oh, oh, I have a look. Oh, oh God, it stopped. Dang. Logan, oh, get in the water. It was get stuck. Out of here, Logan. Oh. You needed it. Go outside, Logan. You told me to pull the rag. I said pull it if you need it, not pull it now. Now we just have an inflated life jacket. You're supposed to save us room. How is it, Logan? Well, I can confirm, Jake, that the safety system works. Well, enjoy your swim. Guys, while Logan is swimming outside, keep in mind, we are anchored here, and the spot we chose isn't too bad. It's not super far out, but keep in mind, that's because we want to go over there to the island and uh, do some exploration, because we don't want to stay on the boat the entire time, and plus, there's no rules that we have to stay on here. But one thing I did want to do is I wanted to do some fishing with Phil. One, because fishing is fun, and two, if there is a chance we by chance run out of food or this thing goes way out into the middle of nowhere and we need to survive we need to have some fish i also think phil said he wanted a pet fish which i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> oh there's a lot of seaweed this is gross you look like a little baby in a swimming pool <laughs> Well, I'm definitely, yo, it's cold here. Why is it so cold? Feels like there's a sea monster. Well, me, me and Phil are going to go fishing, so we'll tell you what's down there. Luckily, I have my flotation device, so swimming is a lot easier. As we're swimming out, you can see how big the boat is. It is absolutely massive. Wow. The water is really cold, actually, Phil. That's not good. Why is that not good? You've never heard the tale about the sea monster? They like cold water. What? Pond monsters too! No. Yes! What, what am I supposed to do about that? I can't control what temperature the water is. I don't know, but I wouldn't be in there, that's for sure. Oh boy. Okay guys, Jake told me I should come back to his pod because we're going fishing. I think he might have a secret camera that's gonna help us too. Better grab my fishing rod though. Oh, Jake, your room looks really nice. Thank you, Phil. I got my fan on, and I am going to uh, help you go fishing. The average person might go fishing just with a fishing rod, which is what we have. It's only $12 and kind of sucks. But instead of investing in a really good fishing rod, I spent the $12 on the fishing rod, and I spent the other $2,000 on this really fancy underwater camera. That's going to let us know where the fish are. Then once I know where the fish are, we can direct Phil. I also might be able to find treasure. I got a little porthole here, so Phil, you can fish out the back, and I'll tell you where the fish are. All right, guys, so check this out. This is the camera that we are gonna be putting underwater so you can actually see me. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> you can see Phil over there, you can see behind us. It is pretty sweet. Keep an eye out for treasure, keep an eye out for big fish. Let me know what you see. Oh, oh, oh. there we are. Okay, we're oh. outside the boat and then we're dropping. Oh, 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 oh we bumped into the bottom. Oh, dude, look. Dude, it's a whole other world down there. There's so much stuff, we're definitely gonna find treasure. It's just, it's crazy to me. We are literally in a houseboat in the middle of a lake with the working fan generator, fish camera. This is crazy. Oh, there's another. Oh, 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 oh. I can see it. You're getting nibbles. Oh, oh, there's so many. They go at it though without getting the hook. These fish are smart, Jake. I know they're smart, dude. Jake, you got one? We got one, boys. We got one, boys. We successfully caught a box for boat fish and if you guys saw the very first box for boat i was so sad when i couldn't catch a fish guys be easy on jake in the comments you he's know what, man. he's really upset he didn't catch anything okay dude the fishing rod broke sure and now we have done it make room for larry here larry's coming in oh okay oh i oh, 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 oh. Welcome to the party. Jake, I know just a place to put them. Larry. We got a fish. Guys, the fish around here aren't big enough to eat, but that's okay. So we don't want to eat Wait, fish. Phil, what are you doing? Logan, I brought water on the boat. I'm going to keep Larry up front with me. He's going to keep me company. He's a wild fish. I don't know Phil if you, you should keep a wild fish as a pet, Jake. Always Logan, he's always wanted a pet. And realistically, a fish is probably the easiest pet for him to keep. All right, guys, we're going to be putting him in, in this bucket. Put him in the bucket. There you oh, go, Phil. There he goes. You've got your very own pet. Larry, we are gonna work on getting you a bigger bucket, but for now, it should do the trick. It's kinda cute, actually. We're also gonna make sure you're well-fed and well-looked after up at the front of the worm. boat. I just gave him a worm. He's gonna have a lot of fun in there. All right. 
Okay guys, well I guess our box for boat started out as just the three of us and now there's four of us. We have our pet Larry. <laughs> yeah! Guys, let's get a hashtag Larry in the comments down below. He oh. is officially... We're gonna make sure he's well fed for the rest of the time. Yep, he is officially the new box for pet. Not as cute as Marshmallow, but I mean, it'll do. Jake, what are you doing? Logan, I thought we would uh, have a little bit of fun with this brand new thing I found. It's a bird. Jake, Jake that is gonna go straight into the water. No, dude, it's, it's gonna fly it's like an rc plane but it actually flaps like a bird and we're on the middle of the lake whoa look at it oh, whoa! dude Jake, that's awesome it looks like a real bird it is a real bird it's just going in circles here guys hey. yeah bring it on. i'm trying to bring it back yo it's coming back guys oh. come on buddy you can do it oh it sounds like she's running out of battery boys come on come, come on, on. Come on! A couple more! Come on! A you can do more. that! Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! Pull up. Come on! She's coming! You can make it! Get her in, you bro! You can make it! Get her in! Come coming for the other one! He's, he's coming! Jake! Go Jake! Again. Bring it here! No, keep flapping! It's swimming! No, no, it's gonna sink! I'm not, I didn't stop flapping! It died! Jake. Where's it going? Yeah, no, no, no! Flap it, flap it, flap it! I'm trying! It's like an underwater thing now! Stop Jake. flapping! Jake. It's going on this side! Okay, so we might have lost the bird, but that is not the only flying thing that I brought. I actually bought a, a massive kite because I thought there might be a chance if the motor doesn't work, we can use the kite as like a massive sail. So I'm going to set that up here and see how we do. But I am getting hungry. So Phil, maybe it's time you go make us some of that fresh dinner with your buddy. Jake, what are you, are you trying to be fashionable or something? Oh. Is that a piece of jewelry? No, it is a fish hook. You have it's a fish hook stuck in, your in my socks. Okay, I'm also wearing really big fuzzy socks because there's a lot of mosquitoes out here. This is my first time driving the box for it. This is so cool. So it's been a while. The sun is starting to set and we're just cruising around. Honestly, I can't believe it. It is so beautiful. We're just floating around the lake in a massive, I mean, absolutely massive box fort. It's pretty crazy. Currently, right now, it is almost sunset on the box fort boat, and I'm taking us to an island. I don't know what docking this massive, insanely big box fort's gonna be like. It is actually crazy driving this thing, but I'm gonna try my best to get us close to the island, so maybe we could eat dinner on it. I'm gonna go to the front of the boat right now with you guys, and we're gonna check on Phil, because we did give him the task of making dinner. Gotta just kind of move here. It's a little bit like going through a train car. Gotta be careful not to fall down in between. And here we go. We are now in the survival area of the fort where we have a ton of really cool and fun stuff. We've got all of our survival gear. We've got our life rafts. We've got some games to play at night. We've got water. We've got a first aid kit. We got flippers. We also have our anchor in case we need to anchor down. And we have a bow and arrow, which I'm kind of excited to try out today. Then you come through here. Phil, how's it going? Oh, hey, Jay, just making dinner for the boys. Well, me and Larry are doing amazing up here? Phil, we're Hello. approaching the shore. Okay. Guys, we are approaching our destination. We haven't even eaten yet. Guys, it looks kind of creepy. Um, Jake, there's a whole tree upside down. Uh, I think I'm going to sit this one out. I'll stay on the boat. Is this not awesome? Look at this. All right. Looks like I'll stay. Jake. Yeah. I'll stay in the boat. Okay, sounds good, Phil. How about you get dinner prepared? Me and Logan are gonna go do some exploring on this island and see if we can find anything. I thought it might be abandoned, but there looks like there might've been a campfire. And Phil was right, there is an upside down tree. Jake, Jake, take my blow horn if you get in trouble. That's a very smart idea, Phil. I will use this if I get in trouble. We have never docked a box fort this perfectly this and this big. Crazy, guys, we are actually on the edge and we are good to explore. Yo, this is this insane. is insane. Bring the flashlight. Phil gave me a secret blowhorn in case something goes wrong. I don't know. I mean, we've seen Bigfoot before, but like if he's gonna live somewhere, like maybe he knocked over that tree. Dude, we could camp here tonight instead of on the boat because I'm a little seasick. Wow, we've done it. We've officially made it. Wait, Logan, before you go. Yes. One blow means start the boat. Two blows. I guess I'll come and get you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Dude, we're the first people ever to come on this land. Dude, and check this out, guys. How hilarious does this thing look? It's like a massive train. This looks like a hotel. It's a cruise ship. There was Bigfoot in these woods, which there might be because 
why else would these trees be down? Okay guys, so we are going to explore this island that we found and see what is on here. First thing I want to check out is this knocked over tree because it is absolutely crazy. I'm kind of whispering because I'm kind of freaked out. Like, I don't know what animals are on here. Maybe there's bears. I don't even know if there are bears here. Oh, dude. Look at that. It's an upside down tree. Phil was right. It's literally upside down. That is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna uh, start moving a little bit deeper in. We've got our boat back there. It's in sight. Looks good. We have the blowhorn. Guys, Logan said this might be poison ivy. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Maybe one of you guys is a boy or girl scout and you know that. Yeah? I saw something on the way in. It looks man-made. It's over there. Okay guys, so we are moving deeper across the shoreline because we think we found something. I know I was saying we might find treasure underneath the water with our underwater camera, but this could be something close to that. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> what is it? What? I don't know, something just ran in there. <laughs> and there's fish carcasses. What? Logan, this makes me feel like this is a very, very good chance there's a Bigfoot here. The knockdown trees. Now you're telling me there's fish? Oh no. Guys, there is the remains of eaten fish here. I don't know about you, but unless it's a bear or a Bigfoot, something was eating fish here. Yeah, I don't know what this box is, but Jake, maybe, maybe we get out of here. You know what's even creepier, Jake? What? Jake, what is this? So I'm like out, Logan, that's not good. Like, this is a haunted island. That is like a sign to never come here. To leave now, because if you come, you'll end up like that fish carcass. What did we just come to? It's like the beginning of every horror movie, Jake. Yeah, I'd rather not be in one of those right now, Logan. Okay, we're back to this big tree. The question is, how did this tree fall? It is massive. Whoa, dude. Look at that, dude. That is crazy. Uh, Logan? Yeah? I don't want to leave. <laughs> what? Jay? Who would build a toilet out here? I don't know. And literally the trail ends. Like, th like this is it. Someone literally made this trail and then made a toilet. Actually, I dare you look in there. I don't know, dude. There's a lot of big trees that have just fallen. It's kind of weird. Okay, guys, yeah, so I've been exploring a little bit, walking around. There's a lot of weird stuff. What's that? I think we should sleep here tonight. I think we have a first-class luxury Titanic boat. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know if I want to sleep here. There's a lot of signs that there are either people or Bigfoot. I am going to get boat sick on the boat. This is solid ground. I like this. Are you boat sick, Logan, or eaten by Bigfoot? You tell me. I picked Bigfoot 14 times out of four. Jake? Yeah? What is this? Oh. Like another sign to leave. Literally means don't come here. No, 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 there's signs everywhere. Action, what's this? It's almost like the signs are telling us to leave, but also like follow us. Guys, look at this. I don't know, man. These must be leading somewhere. Some are good or some are bad. We're about to find out. No. 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 Jake, no. No. Jake, no. 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 We followed the signs. Maybe the creepiest looking house. I think it's a cabin, Logan. Like a cabin in the woods? Oh no, Jake, 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 yo. <laughs> Dude, no, no, no. It gets worse. What? Look at that. Look up there. I can't see. Oh. Oh. Yo. Oh no. No, 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 no. 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 Jake? No. I dare you. I'll get the shot. That's it. I'm only doing it for YouTube and then we were getting out of here and you were blowing that horn. I'm only doing this for you guys and then we were getting out no, of no, here. No, 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 no. Okay, if something grabs me and pulls me in, oh, yo, my heart's like racing. Okay, guys, I'm going to do this for all of you because I know you're going to be like, we want to see. I'm holding the... do anything. It's going to scare someone. <sighs> Wooden shelters everywhere. What do you mean? There's more?
go. We're leaving. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, we're actually leaving. No, actually? <laughs> like, we're actually leaving. What do you mean? <laughs> like, we're leaving. What? Don't pull the start the ball. It's not working. Let's go, let's go. No, 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 no. No, Jake. We're going, we're going. Dude, what, it, what was it? Jake, what just happened? I don't even know, man. Let's yeah. go, please. That is like scary beyond no, scary. No, 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 no. The answer is no. No. This is not a drill. This is not a joke. I low-key think we need to go back. What? Yes. Jake, we need to go back with Phil. No. Dude, what, what's in there? Look at the footage and then you tell me if you want to go back. No. Okay, guys, we have gotten back to the boat after oh. seeing what we saw. I don't know what we saw. I don't really I don't really know what we saw. You're gonna have to let us know in the comments. This started out as a very nice, happy, cruising around in our luxury boat, having fun, because it's it's a box for a boat on, on, on Lake Week. I can't even talk, because we've been running. Now it's kind of turning into horror. This is a happy, fun video, look. I just made dinner, come yeah, back that's in the morning. Phil made dinner, we have our massive box for it. Why don't we just set back out, we sail, could. have a nice like, night. Like Logan, you are so right. We literally could end the video right now, but guys, I think we have to go back. All right, Phil, grab the flashlight. Now, that, now this is a scary video, Jake. It always ends up a scary video, Logan. I didn't bring shoes. I didn't know we were leaving the boat. You can't you can't do this. You need to you might need to run. What else am I gonna do with it in Logan? I didn't bring shoes. Talk to you for a second. If someone tries to come after us, maybe this is good because Phil will be extremely slow in those. Jake. Well, I mean, he's gonna have to eat someone. Okay, oh Phil, wait, I have a perfect idea. One second. Phil, what are you doing? I'm manufacturing my own shoes. I'm cutting. Wow, that's actually really smart of Phil. And probably for the best, because I think we will be running. Logan, I've created a self-defense weapon in case there is something bad. This average blowhorn, when turned around this way, now becomes an air duster. What you saw before was not correct. Now it is correct. Get ready. Someone comes at me. Oh, and then we run. For, uh, that only buys us a couple seconds, so. Phil, how's it going in there? Okay, come on, chop, chop, Phil. Before the sun goes down and then we're actually there in the dark, so I, no, yeah, I can't I really do it. I don't want to be here in the dark. Ready? Let's go, Feeling Phil. improved. <laughs> Friendly Phil flippers. All right. Oh, dude, those are swag. Those actually look pretty swag, yo. Okay, but honestly, Logan, what are we getting ourselves into? I am not gonna lie, maybe the scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm not joking. I should have stayed on the boat. I think we should also, no, bring that, bring that. What are we gonna do with that, Logan? Smack something? You never know. So you guys get really scared and then you decide to come back. It just doesn't make sense. So we didn't explore it enough, plus we know the viewers are gonna want it. To be honest, Phil, didn't really want to do it. Just Jake and I having a third person is a lot better than two. So we thought we'd come back and get you. It is a lot darker than it was. It is. It's getting really dark here. Even that tree looks weird. Well, I mean, there is a massive tree that fell over, so that's also weird. Who's that? Oh, I'm not joking. It's. It looked like like something in the woods. Guys, there could be bears in here. I don't see anything, but now I'm seeing like people because I, I'm thinking too much about it. It's not too late to go back. It is too late. We have to film this. The warning signs that we saw here. So that just can't be good. And we found a bunch of these logs, which is obviously man-made because they're cut. I, I, I didn't know what to think of that. I mean, I was just kind of like, okay, they're making a cool path. Wait, nobody else is concerned about this. I'm concerned because I saw what's ahead. This, this is right out of a horror movie. It is literally telling us not to go here. And then guess what, Phil? We came to a fork in the road. I know what you do when you go to a fork in the road. What? what? You turn around. No. So I was like, yo, let's go this way. And it turns out it took us to the most scary place. You can see it, guys. No, no, Phil, this way. Phil, Th Phil, this way. We gotta go this way, Phil. Phil. Oh, we've gotta go. We need you for more. Oh, gosh. We, need to avoid now. we don't know what could be here. What is that? <laughs> no donuts ever again. What is going on? Well, we said we'd come back and we were coming back. Yes, Phil, that's what we saw. Dad, no, not okay. It's in the middle of the woods. We are gonna go back 
we are going to explore because we are explorers on a box fort ship that was supposed to be very happy and fun and funny videos and um now it's a scary video but hey it's a bonus video and we don't know what we're gonna find so we're all in this together okay so this is the first thing we found this is uh definitely man-made i just hear a voice no voices in the woods this is straight out of a horror movie Quiet. Phil, take the blow horn. Okay, guys, we're making it up to the cabin we found. Phil! So, this is deep in the woods on an abandoned island that we had to use our box for a boat to get to. And I have no idea what is going on. But the one thing I don't like, and it really is scaring me. Okay. Look. There's handprints. That's what I'm saying. Guys, guys. Spent a full day building a beautiful box for a boat. Why are we here? So those are the handprints we saw on the outside. I think there's windows on the front of it, but I can't tell. So in the last video, I opened the door. Okay. 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 Oh. Yo, this might be the scariest thing I have ever recorded. Logan, what? So Jake's exploring the place and there's a car and there's people. So we're gonna get out of here now. <laughs> we are gonna get off this island as quick as possible. Go set our anchor somewhere and uh, have some dinner and hopefully forget about what we saw. But let me know down below in the comments what you guys think was there because that was definitely freaky. Yes. Finally free from the island. We have set sail once again. Bye, creepy island. We'll see you later. No. What? No. Sorry, sir. We won't see you later. See you never again. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. Now that we're off, I'm feeling really good. We're going to have dinner soon. Phil? I'm just going to check on Phil. He's actually not doing so great. Phil. <laughs> so Phil never took off his, his shoes and he's a little scared. That scared him. So he's... <laughs> He's out of commission. So I might be cooking dinner tonight. Are we stuck? A little bit. We're stuck on this island? No, the island's not gonna get us. Full <laughs> throttle, come on. Come on, Jake. You've got the power. Jake, no. We're, good, we're, we're only good. at 50% battery. I know. I know, we're only, <laughs> this might turn into another video. Stuck in the middle of a lake. Goodbye, island. Pressing issue at hand is uh, we only have one bar of battery left. We had two bars, we have 50%. No, we're at one, bud. What do you mean? We're at one, and if I open up the case here and we check the battery, we didn't bring extra batteries. But if we're out all this way and this thing dies, we are not making it back. Okay, well, Phil's back, that's good. And Phil, how are you feeling, buddy? I had to regroup for a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little too scary for Phil, but it's <laughs> probably cold by now, but dinner is ready. Yeah, let's go. So since we only have one bar left of battery, we are trying to make it as close as we can back to the main camp. Uh, Cause we don't want to get stranded all the way out here. That would be a huge problem. Also guys, now that I've recovered a little bit, can we get a comment down below for these shoes? I think that might've been one of the more creative things I've ever done. I think you should sell these, Phil. Hashtag flipper shoes. Guys, I'm starving, come on. Okay guys, we have set anchor, so we are now going to go into Phil's cabin and have some dinner. I am starving after all that scary stuff that went down. Guys, this has been an insane week in this box for it. It is one of the coolest things I think I've ever been a part of. Phil, I'm gonna uh, use your fancy dance hand washer to wash my hands before dinner. All right, I guess I just press on the pump and there we go, we got water. <laughs> that is awesome. Guys, take in, this is not only a box for that actually moves on a lake and is literally the size of a Titanic, but we also have running water. I want dinner, I want dinner. 
I am starving, especially after that little mission we had. Bang. Nice fresh pasta. This is gonna be delicious. Dude, it is crazy. We are eating in the middle of a lake in a beautiful box fort restaurant. All right guys, so as you can see, it is dark now and we've set up this hockey game. Yeah, we didn't actually bring like a lot of fun stuff to do at night because we thought we'd pretty much be sleepy, which we are. I mean, it's been exhausting being in a boat all day, but we did bring this. We should have brought Beyblades though, but we're gonna be playing this for a little bit and then uh, we'll probably be heading to bed pretty soon because it is getting pretty late and actually kind of chilly. As you guys can see, I'm trying to sweater up a bit. That's the one thing about this. Oh, I think we go. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 let's go! Place your wagers! Will Logan win? Or it's Papa it's gonna be me, it's always me. Watch your call! Oh, 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 Jake, we're equally matched. The yeah. arena has taken a different world. Jake. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Winner. I'm going to bed. No, not in my bed, Phil. No. <laughs> Phil, that's my bed. Phil. Phil, that's my bed. No. All right, guys, so uh, we've played some games. We've had some fun. We've had our dinner. This has been a crazy adventure. It started out fun. It got scary. Then it became fun again. So now we are in the middle of the lake. We've double checked the anchor, so we're not going anywhere. And we are now good to go to sleep. And we got a nice fan going. Logan's over there. He's chilling. We are far away from that freaky island. So we will update you guys in the morning when we're having breakfast and we'll show you what it looks like to wake up in a box fort on the lake. Night guys. Okay guys, uh, so quick morning update for you. We have been caught in a massive storm. As much as we prep for everything, we did not prep for rain. We, we got major leakage, We Jake. have a major leakage. The weather said it was gonna be clear all week. We did not know a massive rainstorm was coming. So we are making our way back home as fast as we can. We literally just woke up and we noticed it was pouring rain. Okay guys, we have just made it back to the dock in the nick of time. This thing is cold coming down. It was the biggest, it was the most futuristic box fort on a lake we had ever done. But the one thing that we could not prepare it for was rain, which, you know, I'm really sad about because I honestly said it wasn't gonna rain and this sucks. We, we have to quickly take everything out of here. We do. All right, well guys, I think we're gonna end off the video here. Thank you so much to everyone who watched our amazing box fort boat week. If you guys enjoyed them, then smack that like button, smack that subscribe button, and most importantly, hit that bell button so you never miss a brand new video because we got a lot more crazy stuff coming. And we will see you guys next time with another crazy adventure.